What's up guys, Andrew Bainer here, and on today's video, I'm gonna be playing a game with you all. This game is going to teach you guys how to write breakdowns on a guitar using dice. In addition to this game, there's also gonna be a contest where you guys can enter to win a $100 gift card from Reverb.com, so be sure to stick around until the end of the video to find out how to do that. In case you guys have never heard of Reverb.com before, basically it's an online marketplace where you can buy new or used gear or sell new or used gear. I have personally used this website for over six years, both on the buying and selling side of things, and I've always had a great experience, so I would highly recommend checking out this website if you are in the market for any music gear. To learn more about Reverb.com, go check out the link which is in the description and also in the pinned comment. And as I mentioned earlier, there's also gonna be a contest, so be sure to stick around until the end of the video to figure out how you can enter. So in order to play this game, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a guitar and you're gonna need a dice. If possible, having more than one dice would be even better for this game, and you'll see why in just a second. So for this game, we're essentially gonna be creating one bar of music. Of course, one bar of music constitutes four quarter notes. So therefore, if we have four dice, each dice represents one quarter note, so all four dice together makes one bar of music. Now next up, there are of course numbers on each dice, and this is going to represent how many 16th notes you're gonna play on the guitar. For example, if you roll a one on the dice, it's simply gonna be, if you roll a two, three, four, and then for five, it's gonna get a little trickier, you're gonna add in a triplet, so one, two, three, four, five, and if you get a six, it's gonna be two triplets. And that's pretty much it for the simple six-sided dice. This again is the easiest form of this game. We're gonna get into a way more complex breakdown towards the end of this video, so stay tuned. So first and foremost, let's roll four six-sided dice and see what numbers we come up with. All right, so for our first roll, it looks like we got a one, a five, a three, and a six. So that's gonna sound something like this on guitar. Okay, so as you can see in that example, again, we have a one, a five, a three, and a six, and it sounded like that. Now I'm gonna to put together a short clip with drums, bass, and see how it sounds in the context of a full mix. And that's gonna sound something like this. All right, next to ramp up the complexity a little bit, we're gonna be rolling all four dice twice. So essentially we're gonna be making two bars of music using two rolls of each dice. So let's go ahead and roll these dice twice. All right, so now that we rolled each dice twice, it looks like these two bars of music are going to be five, two, six, two, three, four, two, two. And that is gonna sound something like this. Okay, and now that I've shown you an example of what that sounds like with just the guitar, now I'm gonna show you guys once again what this would sound like in a full mix. Here we go. All right, so as you can see with a simple six-sided dice, you can make a pretty cool randomized breakdown but we're gonna take it a step farther. This time around, I'm gonna be using something called a D12, which is simply a 12-sided dice. If you don't have a D12, that's okay. You can just continue using a six-sided dice, but basically this next step, what you're gonna do is roll another dice, and whichever number you roll is going to be the fret that you play on your guitar. You can play it on any string, but this is basically supposed to be like an ambient overtone that goes over top of the breakdown that you just wrote. So for example, if you roll a six, you would simply play the sixth fret. And this time around, each dice is going to represent an entire bar. So essentially what you're gonna to wanna to do is play this single note over top of the entire breakdown you just created, or if you did a two bar breakdown, you're gonna roll two of these dices and alternate between the two. So let's say you roll a six and a 12, then you're gonna do something like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the breakdown which I just created with the last example, which was five, two, six, two, three, four, two, two. And now I'm going to roll four D12 dices and I'm gonna play those ambient notes over top of the breakdown which we already did. So let's roll some dice and see what we come up with.
All right, so for this example, it looks like I rolled a six, a nine, a 12, and a six. So that's gonna sound something like this. So as I said earlier, this part of the game is meant to add to a breakdown which you've already written. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring back that breakdown that we wrote with the previous step and put this over top. So a full mix will sound something like this. All right, so for the final version of this game, we're gonna be adding a little bit more complexity. This time we're gonna be replacing all of our six-sided dice with eight-sided dice. So you're gonna need a little bit of a special dice for this one if you don't have it. But if you do, even better. So it's gonna be the same as before where numbers one to six are the amount of chugs that you play. But if you roll a seven, you're gonna hit a high-pitched dissonant chord, which could sound something like this. Or like this or pretty much anywhere on the fretboard you want that sounds dissonant and evil. And if you roll an eight, you're gonna do a pinch harmonic, and you can also do this wherever you want, and a pinch harmonic, of course, sounds something like this. So we're gonna go ahead and roll four eight-sided dice and see what we come up with right now. All right, so for our first roll here, you can see that we rolled a three, a one, a six, and a seven. So again, the three, one, and six are very self-explanatory. It's just gonna be the amount of chugs you're doing, and the seven is gonna be that high-pitched dissonant chord. So that's gonna sound something like this. All right, so now that we have our numbers rolled and I've shown you guys an example of what it sounds like with the guitar alone, of course, I'm gonna show you guys what this would sound like in a full mix, and that is gonna sound something like this. Now that the rules are set up for the game, I'm gonna go ahead and roll eight eight-sided dice as well as four 12-sided dice so we get the most complex version of a breakdown that you can get from this game. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll these dice and then show you guys what that sounds like in a full mix and that's coming up right now. So now that I've taught you guys how to play this game, I want you to enter my contest. To do this, you simply have to upload a video of you writing your best dice rolling breakdown to either Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. No matter which of the three social medias you post your entry to, it has to contain hashtag Baina Reverb somewhere in the post. And if it's on Instagram or Twitter, you also have to tag myself and Reverb, which would be at Baina Galactic and at Reverb in the post as well. Once you've done all of that, you can go ahead and click the link in the description below or the pinned comment to go to the Google form where you will enter your email address as well as send me a link to your submission. And that's all you have to do. I'm gonna look through all the submissions and pick a winner. This contest is open from now until January 1st, 2020, and I will be picking a winner no later than January 12th, 2020. So by January 12th, 2020, you guys will all know who the winner is because I'm gonna upload a video to my channel showcasing my favorite breakdown. So go out there, get creative. You can come up with your own rules if you want, as long as you follow the general structure of the game. Maybe you can think of some more interesting rules that I didn't, but regardless, I look forward to seeing your guys' submissions. Definitely get them in before January 1st, 2020, and I'll see you guys on January 12th with the winner. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.